On January 1st, the city of San Diego entered the final phase of its mandatory recycling program. KPBS reporter Sharon Heilbrunn breaks down what the new policies mean and how they're being enforced. Reduce, reuse and recycle. We all heard that phrase growing up, but how many of us actually recycle on a regular basis? If you live in the city of San Diego, it's mandatory to recycle all materials that the city identifies as recyclable, like cans, bottles, cardboard, and newspapers. The city recently phased in the last part of a 2007 ordinance that requires recycling at apartments, condominiums, and townhouse complexes in San Diego. Some businesses are also required to recycle. Stephen Greeley, deputy director of the Waste Reduction and Disposable Division for the city of San Diego, said policing is done through education, direct mail, and code enforcement officers. We have a report from the waste haulers that we receive every year, and that tells us which, it's an itemized list of all of their customers, so we can see from that which businesses and multifamily complexes have recycling and which ones don't, and the amount of recycling versus trash collection they get. So both of those have become triggers for site visits. When the code officers go out, the way the ordinance is structured and the way they enforce it is if the education doesn't work, the burden on the uh, property owner or the building manager is to provide the services to make sure they're adequate and convenient, that they've got interior recycling containers, they've got recycling containers at the uh, dumpster area. They also have to provide education and put up signage. Once they've done that, the property manager's job is done. Then the burden to recycle is on the building resident or on the, on the employee in the business. So far, the city hasn't fined anyone for violating the recycling ordinance. And we've found almost invariably in this, the last two and a half years of implementing this ordinance that education works. We haven't had to fine anybody yet, but we do have the potential for fines of up to $1,000. The city of San Diego spends about $16 million a year to operate its curbside recycling program. Last year, it received about $6 million back from the company that collects the city's recyclables. If you compare that against the cost of trash collection, so if you look at it as a choice, it's still much more cost effective to recycle than it is to put in the black bin, because once that is picked up and gets in the truck, it goes to a landfill and they pay a fee to dispose of it. And it becomes, you know, it's a long-term liability in the landfill. The ordinance is part of an effort to reduce recyclables from entering the Miramar landfill, which is expected to be full by 2019. Recycling helps extend the landfill's capacity. The state requires that at least 50% of waste is recycled, and San Diego residents exceed that by recycling about 64% of their waste a year. But as concerns over the environment increase and landfills reach their capacity, Greeley expects that state legislature will raise that number to about 70%. So the city wants to be in a proactive position of being ready and anticipating these new requirements, whether it's going to be coming from the waste board or from global warming. The city of San Diego is very much in, in favor of being as environmentally friendly as it can be. It's easier than it used to be to recycle. No need to take staples out of papers or rinse bottles or cans. Just make sure they're empty when you dispose of them. For more recycling tips, go to www.recyclingworks.com. We want to know what you think can be done to improve recycling in San Diego. Log on to kpbs.org slash SDWeek and leave us a comment. For KPBS, I'm Sharon Heilbrunn.